Brian died as he lived, a warrior and a hero, battling against terrorism and securing our nation. It really does not get any more emotional than that. When you think about this, eight years we spent, we had never really had any moments like that. Finally now, we get back to the basics of supporting our military, supporting our law enforcement, and really supporting the American people. That's what being a president is about. That's what America is about. Well, joining us now is General Jerry Boykin. And uh, he served in Delta Force as a commander in the U.S. Uh, Special Forces. He's now with the Family Research Council. General, it's great to ha have you on the program. Thank you. Hey, I'm glad to be with you. Thank you very much. I just wish you hadn't started with that uh, very emotional piece there. I'm, I'm trying to hold it together here. Y you know, as, as a retired military officer, a general, uh, that really was emotional for everybody and and I was grateful for the president for doing that and grateful for everybody in that hall that stood up and and applauded Ryan Owens and his wife well that's right and you know uh, I tell you that that was just incredible and that's the essence of uh, service and sacrifice what you saw there uh, not only in the president uh, recognizing his widow but also the that entire audience as you said uh, on both sides of the aisle uh, showing her the dignity and respect that she's entitled to as a widow of a man who sacrificed his life for his country. Uh, it, it, he just, uh, he did so very well in doing what he did there. And, and her response was just the uh, most emotional thing I've seen in a presidential speech. Yeah.